I didn't really know what to expect. She inspires me. She gets me to think a lot. She kind of changed my mind about what art is. I thought art was a form of sculptures and paintings and drawings. what her definition of art was, and she said it was a form of communicating with people. An artist is a way of life, not just tools, techniques. It is a way we see, think about the world. In order to be an artist, you have to be willing to explore through your mind and your thoughts. Virtual art is harder than you would expect. It just blows my mind how all of these pieces in her mind come together and forms this extravagant piece of art. It can be either abstract or satirical. Something that causes you to think more. It's not just going to be a tree. I mean, it's going to be something that is expressive in that tree. Something that causes you to think. Something that no one wants to see, but needs to be seen. Half of her life is based on the web. She uses a lot of code. Something she studies, or sees, or hears, or think, or sound. Maybe the news, or maybe a leaf. And then she just explores it. She likes to incorporate a lot of music into her artwork. Half of her works are influenced by nature because it's her sanctuary. And it's her, like, a garden. The whole vision is basically one art through her eyes. Like, you can tell that, like, she really loved what she did. Either simple or extravagant. Her pieces on Second Life are intense. In virtual art, there are no like limits. Just you, your mind, and your computer. You can do it. Don't be held back by things that you think aren't possible. Take risks. There's no limitation. Thank you, Miss Susanao. It was beautiful. I hope to make you proud in the art gallery. I think it would be cool to add her signature song on the front.